What are 10 ChatGPT use cases if you work in management consulting part two? Hi, my name is Johannes Niari. I'm a project manager in strategy consulting and on this channel I want to help you to learn the necessary skills that you need in your first years in consulting. If you're new to this channel, then please make sure to subscribe to it and leave a thumb up. This will help you that you don't miss any video that can help you to accelerate your consulting career. And in yesterday's video, we already talked about the top five use cases for ChatGPT if you work in management consulting. And today I want to make part two of this video where I talk Talk about the other five top use cases for ChatGPT. If you haven't seen the previous video, then please watch it. I will link it here above. And with that being said, let's jump directly into use case number six. Use case number six is that you can write business emails with ChatGPT. And of course, in consulting, we write a lot of emails. And yes, on the one hand, you know, very often you have very personal emails that you cannot write with ChatGPT because then, of course, you don't have the context or ChatGPT doesn't have the context that you need. But on the other hand, you also have many repetitive emails. For example, emails for sending out data requests, emails to invite for a meeting, emails to say thank you after an interview that you conducted. So there are many of standardized emails that you can use or that you can uh, or that you actually use and where you can use ChatGPT to support you because writing an email typically takes between you know one or two minutes or sometimes even five minutes and if you write you know many emails during a week and this is definitely what we do then you can save a lot of time if you prepare the first draft with ChatGPT. So I <laughs> tested this and I asked ChatGPT to write an email for sending out a data request. And uh, the draft that I received was pretty good in my opinion. So it says, dear, and then I hope this email finds you well. My name is, then there's a placeholder. I am a placeholder. Uh, and then you know the company and then it continues with the data request and leaves some brackets where you can fill out some data and if you look at that that's a pretty good first draft we have to say that of course you have to adjust the email and of course you know you have to individualize it a little bit but you know generating this first draft really takes a couple of seconds and if you just copy the text plug it into your email program then adjust it a little bit this really saves you a lot of time and that's why I think you know this is a great use case so let's jump to use case number seven and this is that you build powerpoint slides with chat gbt now we have to say of course and this is you know there's no question about that that we spend a lot of time working in powerpoint in management consulting and you know the difficult task you know on the one hand is of course first to draw the uh, powerpoint slide and then to include the text and unfortunately ChatGPT cannot support with actually building the slide but it can support with including some text that you need and especially if you're very new to a certain topic then this is you know a huge support because you know as I see it uh, or if, as I know it from my own experience and also what I see in my daily work with junior consultants interns and people on a consulting level you know it's sometimes very tough you know to get in this writing style of consulting and to really find the bullets that you need in order to fill this slide so this is where ChatGPT really can support and uh, I asked ChatGPT in an example that ChatGPT should uh, send me five bullets to optimize the HR department with each a maximum of 10 words. And this is a great use case where you say, okay, you have a slide where you maybe show some optimization levers and then on the right uh, side on the comment um, column, you want to include five bullets about potential optimization um, uh, levers in the HR department, for example. And then you can ask ChatGPT to write bullets with a certain length of words. And this is very useful because this gives you a first draft. I also experimented, you know, with uh, some more advanced stuff like, you know, for example, formulating a Porter's Five Forces um, analysis with five bullets per um, uh, segment. And, you know, this is a bit more sophisticated, but again, you can use these bullets to plug this in into your um, slide template. And this really, really accelerates your um, slide building speed. And the cool thing would be if we would have a connection between, you know, building these slides and including the text. And I'm sure, you know, that there will be some tools and um, that will tackle this issue in the future. But at least for generating the first text for your slides, this is really, really helpful.
Then use case number eight is that you use ChatGPT to work with Excel. And again, of course, you know, there's no question about it that we spend as consultants a lot of time in Excel because we have to prepare analysis, we have to build models and there ChatGPT can help as well. There are two ways how ChatGPT can help you if you work with Excel. The one is that it helps you to find certain formulas and the other one is that it can write macros for you. And I want to focus more on the first part and there will be a separate video about how to write macros with ChatGPT. The thing is, you know, very often, you know, most people who work in consulting know the basic formulas. And if you don't know them, then please check out the link below where you get a link to my consulting preparation course. There we talk about all the Excel skills, all the consulting skills, all the PowerPoint skills, like problem solving, uh, communication, uh, like, you know, organization as well that you need for your first years in consulting. So check the link out below. But uh, if we talk about Excel, you know, most people know the basic formulas if they work in consulting, but sometimes you have very tricky problems, you know, where it takes you some time to figure out the right formula or the right combination of formulas that you need to solve this problem. And of course, you can ask ChatGPT to make some suggestions. So I asked, okay, please provide a formula to retrieve the name from an email address because, you know, this is not, uh, this is not a simple formula that you can use here. You need a combination of formulas. And here it suggests a left formula to, um, in a combination with the find formula. And I tested this formula and it really helps you to retrieve the data from an email address, the name from an email address. And these are some uh, ways how you can use ChatGPT if you work with Excel. If you have more complex pro um, uh, issues um, or uh, questions that you want to answer with Excel, then you can ask ChatGPT to provide a draft for a formula. And in most cases, it's very accurate. This is really, really cool. And, you know, especially uh, if you're new to Excel, this is a huge support. And especially if you have more complex formulas that you need, instead of, you know, doing research and Googling for hours and hours, you know, you can simply ask ChatGPT and then it will provide a pretty good answer. Then the next use case I want to talk about, this is use case number nine. And this is for people who are just at the beginning of their consulting career. You can also use ChatGPT to practice case studies because basically what you can also ask ChatGPT is to give you some case studies that you can use to practice and what i did was that i asked ChatGPT to write a consulting interview case study about a profitability case and you see that it gives you a pretty good structure it talks a little bit about the background of a company and then the assessment it gives you a little bit of uh, you know a structure that you can use here and then uh, at the end a recommendation and also implementation and a conclusion and you could use especially you know the upper part for um, practicing case studies because of course you know profitability cases this was a very simple question but you could also ask ChatGPT some more complex questions and basically you know this would help you to generate unlimited kind of case studies that you can practice with if you want to prepare for consulting interviews I highly recommend, nevertheless, you know, to get access to all of, you know, the uh, case study material from the books, from online platforms and also from coachings. But if you're looking for some uh, inspirations for case studies, then you can definitely use ChatGPT. Also, I experimented a little bit with, you know, generating brain teasers. This was also very, very fun to do. So this is certainly something that you can do with ChatGPT as well. And last but not least, I want to take, uh, talk about use case number 10 looking for some best practices uh, with ChatGPT. And this is a use case where, you know, let's say uh, you suggest that uh, your client has to work with a certain tool or something like that. Then of course the client asks, okay, do you have any examples, some other companies who already work with that tool? And in most cases, you would have to go to your research system or, you know, conduct some interviews in order to get the information. But you can also, for example, uh, just ask ChatGPT, okay, what are success stories of companies who used or who implemented the tool Agility? And Agility is a supply chain tool. You know, I just took that as an example because this is a tool that's not that well known. And it quickly gives me, you know, a couple of bullets, a couple of companies who already use that tool. And it gives me a pretty good summary of what they did with this tool and if I need a short or a quick inspiration for some best practices or you know some concepts or some case studies I can quickly go to ChatGPT and just ask 
for some suggestions. So this is another cool use case that I found to be very useful in the past two weeks. And I have to say that all of the use cases that I talked about, I tested them myself in the past three weeks in my daily work as a management consultant. And as a summary, we can say that ChatGPT really makes your life much, much, much easier. And we can say that this is just the beginning, okay? This is a technology that it's, you know, it's not very new, but you know, uh, the kind of scope and scale of this tool at the moment, it was launched at the beginning of 2023. So we are just at the beginning and we can expect it throughout the times, you know, if more data requests, if more interaction and chats with this tool take place or happen, you know, that then the intelligence of this tool significantly will increase over the time. So if you work on consulting, then you should have that on your radar. So get familiar with ChatGPT. Also try to stay up to date about the recent developments because I truly believe that this is something that will really, really change the consulting industry. So if that brought value to you, then please subscribe to this channel, leave a thumb up. Of course, if I have missed any use cases that you also found to be useful, please write it in the comments below. If you want to learn the necessary consulting skills that you need for your first years, then please check out the link below in the comment or in the descriptions to get access to my consulting preparation course. And with that being said, I wish you a wonderful day. Hope you have a great week. Talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye, Johannes.